In this video we are going to take a quick look at the data logging capability of the IoT gateways. The data logging works basically the same whether you're logging Modbus or BACnet data. In the Modbus version of the IoT gateway we start under the local data tab and come over to events and the data logging tab. In the BACnet version we start on the system tab and find events and come to data logging. In each case we find a list of currently defined objects or registers. In the case of BACnet we have objects starting with analog inputs and in this example we are going to log analog inputs 1 through 10. In the Modbus version we have Modbus registers and here we see the register number as well as the label that has been given to those registers when you set those Modbus registers up. In each case what you're going to end up with in the CSV file for a header line is the register name or in the case of BACnet the object name. And then from that point on each line will have a column per register or object and in each column there will be a data point which is logged every however many minutes you define down here at the bottom. And so you come down to the bottom and tell it to log every so many minutes or if you want the logging rate to change based on some event that's currently in effect then you say log every so often while event given event number is true otherwise log this at this rate and right now we're just logging automatically every 10 minutes and then we go on to tell it that we want to email our CSV file to this user group using this template and we're, right now we're going to do this weekly and to set up the recipients First of all, the templates is over here on the template page. And there's more about this in the notification video and also in the user guide. And on the recipients page, this is where we set up the email address we want to send the data to, as well as set up our email server information. And so data logging is really pretty straightforward. It's just a matter of selecting points and uh, how often you want to log them and then tell the system where to send your data when it's collected a file which can be daily, weekly, or uh, in addition you can have uh, upon an event transition. And there's more detail about this in the user guide, but for the most part it's really pretty simple and I think straightforward and intuitive for the most part.